Okay, day 14, meal three. This is about three hours after my last, or three and a half hours after uh, last checking in with you. Now, um, strange but true fact. Hey, wait a minute, deja vu. Didn't I just say that? Uh, didn't I just say, what do you see different about this and this? Is there anything different? Do you notice anything different? Do you see anything different? Okay, so I started eating and I, and I ate. It's like deja vu. It's like the same conversation. I started to eat. I ate two banana chips. There was a pecan there. I ate. I thought I'll just go around and eat, eat half of what's there. So half a pecan. I ate half an almond. I ate half a pistachio. I ate half of a cashew, half of a, of a Brazil nut, one, half, uh, one macadamia nut that was sitting right there, uh, a little pinch of these guys, and I had two apples. And then, deja vu. I drank this like this. Except I drank half of it, and that's the other half. All right, so... By the time I got around the circle, because I was just playing, I'm playing, my intention is to play with my portion size in a life-giving way. So, you know, it's interesting when you form an intention, what begins to happen? You could, you could play with this in so many different ways. Like, you know, like apply it in other areas of your life. Bring an intention and put it out there and feel it as though... Not as though, as it already is. Feel it as it already is. So I'm playing with the intention of my portion size, reducing my portion size, but in a life-giving way. And I'm not going to make it life-giving later. I'm life-giving now. It constellates. Something constellates. So what happened here, what I noticed in my process, now I'm not saying that you need to eat half a pecan. I mean, that sounds completely ridiculous now that I think about it. Half a cup of cashew milk, half, what's the menu today? Half an almond, half, half of one of these little kind of green pistachios, half a cashew, half a Brazil nut all the way from, this came from all the way from Brazil. Eat half of what's from Brazil. Macadamia nuts, I don't know. Do they come from Hawaii? I don't know where they come from. <laughs> Eat just one tiny, a speck, it, 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 eat a speck of it like that. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it would be almost completely ridiculous if I said, hmm, A1C cure. <laughs> Jim Hughes, just eat half of everything. But I've been playing with this. Like when you see when I order an omelet, uh, which, what is that? With a few friends, right? You saw Susanna, Savannah, Rick Bush. And I like these egg white omelets, veggie omelets, no cheese, egg white, veggies, extra spinach. I'll cut it in half, move one to the side, keep the other half, and I'll eat it a little bit later. Now, if I get if I get hungry, if I'm really hungry, no problem. I'm gonna breathe a little bit. I'll wait a little bit. Maybe my next meal could be 30 minutes, could be an hour, whatever. I'm gonna listen to my body. I'm gonna follow, follow the sensation the feeling the impulse in my body not not that doesn't mean the first thought you have an impulse and then whatever that first thought is is that momentum that we've been practicing and a lot of times that momentum takes us down the road of what looks like fast and easy listen this is the original fast food all right cavemen and cave women did not have these jars to store their almonds pistachios pecans walnuts pepitos cashews, Brazil nuts, and sunflower seeds. They didn't have these jars to store their oats, their raspberries, their apples, their pineapple, their bananas. They didn't have uh, these jars to store their shiitake mushrooms, porcina mushrooms, or their green beans, their corn, or their peas, their dried peas, or they didn't have jars to store their 
mix of wild grains, garbanzo beans, green lentils. Oh wait, no, those are green peas. These are yellow peas split, red beans, and mung beans. They didn't have jars to store that, but they did make baskets. They dried foods. They made clay pots. They let their foods dry, put them in pots, put a lid on, keep it airtight. They knew how to store things. Oh, believe me. Okay, man days, my friends Fan and Gertrude, they're like super sophisticated, good communicators. They know how to plan. They know how to map out what they need. They live very, very close, in, intimately close to nature. The original fast food is, are these nuts. And, and these dried foods. There they are. They're right there. You can pull it out and eat it. We have an idea that fast food now involves this whole process of driving up to a drive through placing your order, and then in most of the time they say, would you like to supersize that? And we, <laughs> we get, it's hard to say no to people, so, you know, we say yes. And uh, by the way, did you watch the guy that, that, that uh, documentary, I can't remember his name, Supersize Me, All right? And did you watch what happened? Like in part, one of his uh, ideas was basically, um, you know, he's, every time he would go to McDonald's, if they asked him to upgrade, his rule was he had to agree, he had to say yes. And some of this experiment is basically, what does fast food do to our bodies? And uh, quite an amazing documentary. I definitely recommend it. Definitely recommend it. So original fast food, right, doesn't look anything like what fast food looks like now. Today's fast food is neither fast nor easy. It's not easy on our bodies, that's for sure. High fat, wrong kinds of fat. High salt. We need a little salt. We don't need that level. High amounts of sugar or things that turn to sugar fast. Low on nutrients. Okay, so it just, and right here, I'm giving myself the original fast food. Okay, and I'm going to kind of dive in. I'm going to eat half of my pecan. You see where I'm going with this now? Half of my pistachio. Mm, mm, mm. Half. It's hard to eat half of a tiny speck of a thing. I'm going to go around this for meal three, eat half of everything. I think I'm going to drink the entire cashew milk, though. Mm. I'm going to see how I feel. I'm going to let that rest. Then I'm going to eat again when my body tells me that it needs more tools. Real simple. Now, this is not a diet plan. I am not saying that... We have to eat this and only this. I am saying that we have an abundant universe of amazingly rich choices and we can eat as much as we want from that universe. And it's a bigger universe than what we've been used to. It's a much bigger universe than what we've been used to. Oh, certainly I got my avocados over here. I fully intended to split one avocado amongst a whole bunch of meals I have them packaged up they're right in my refrigerator they're right here they're 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 piled up right there can you see them okay and um, they're ready to go I'm probably gonna be eating one of those I don't know when when my body says hey please send us send us some more tools we're ready for more tools in the meanwhile I'm gonna go around and eat half of everything finish this up I do notice, by the way, I have a slight emerging craving for, yes, green chilies. Okay, what? The flavor of green chilies. Why green chilies? I don't know. I don't need to get in an argument with my body about, okay, uh, green chilies. Why green chilies? These happen to be from Hatch, New Mexico. There's a super special place in New Mexico, the Hatch Valley. It's a special place where it's... For, ye for years, they've grown green chilies there. It has just these right conditions, the right temperature, the right soil conditions, the right everything. Hatch green chilies. I don't know. Is it something from the desert that I need? 
is it is there something in green chilies am i is my body you know all the trillions of cells are like we're low on we're low on green chilies we need more green chilies or are they like we need something from the desert we need something from the place that we that we evolved in we need is is it that is there a nutrient in green chilies does anybody know? Is there anybody listening? Do we have any people with like, you know, PhDs in green chilies? I don't know. I don't want to like my body. So go ahead. I'll give you green chilies, but you got to tell me why. Please uh, send uh, green <laughs> body. Please send me more information about why. You know that word why? Hmm. I don't know. Why? What if we let go of the word why? What if we just said, why down? What if we just listened before I said, body, your wish is my command. There's a slightest, tiny little, it's a slight, cra it's, craving's a strong word, but it's this little hint of a wanting for the flavor of the green chili. Your wish is my command, I said to my body. So this may lead me in my next meal to instead of eating the the ones that I made yesterday the meals that I made yesterday I may make a little like an omelet with this that might be what I do and I might take the vegetables from one of those little meals put inside the omelet with the green chilies and um, maybe like the maybe I'll do the, either the salmon or the scallops I'm a little bit hungry for those scallops those are like butter they were like amazing so I might make an omelet out of those so I'll have a little extra protein and that flavor of the green chili and I'll use the juice in the green chili too because my body's asking for that flavor that might be where I'm going with this that's what I'm thinking I'm not gonna ask why I'm not gonna like try to you know get into some kind of analysis paralysis about you know green chilies and try to figure it all out and just hey I, I, I said to my body your wish is your wish is my command. As your leader and your primary supporter, and as a member of the team here, my consciousness, my life force, my energy, my desire, my intention, my connectedness with the all that is, is going to take care of you. You tell me what you need. Your wish is my command. See you in a few hours.